lost the biggest fight of his life. He opened up about some demons that he's been facing. I have to be the beast, I have to be the savage. Insane and out of control. I'm a god, no one could beat me. Something inside Tyson may have changed. I was angry and I was looking for revenge. Baddest man on the planet. Why do you have to talk like that? You're irritating me right now. F off. I don't know, I've been bullied all the time. Um... His life was very, very sad. That's when he met the famous trainer, Customato, the first man in his life who gave him hope. From that point on, he adopted me. He died in 1985. I didn't know where to go from there. He was on coke all the f time. I'm an extreme kind of person. Don't bother me, because I'm going to kill you. Cannot control his temper, and that's frightening. You're scared, coward. You got man enough to f with me. They destroyed the greatest fighter I've ever seen. I didn't really care, because I was totally insane at that moment. Why did you do it? I was really disturbed back then. How are you a different man than you were then? I was abused any way a human being can be abused as a kid. So, um, I don't know, I've been bullied all the time. Um, it had a profound effect on me. I like pigeons, so I took a lot of my money and I bought some pigeons. And one day, this guy still was trying to steal my pigeons. I was trying to chase them. I was no, no, give me my bird. And one guy said, you want your bird back? And he just took the bird and popped the neck. And he threw him on the floor. That's the first time I ever had a fight. And I won. After that, all the kids would bring other kids from different neighborhoods then they would pay us to fight each other. I started getting into a lot of trouble. By the time I was 12, I was arrested probably 40 times. Eventually, they sent me upstate to juvenile center. That's when he met the famous trainer, Customato. And he said, you have too much talent. You're a good kid, but if you go back to Brooklyn, you're only going to get yourself in trouble. From that point on, he adopted me. I changed my whole life. He broke me down and rebuilt me. I was just like a total different person. You know, even though he is my manager and trainer, sometimes I forget that because of the way we are. And it's like a father and son relationship. I can say honestly, I have a very deep affection for him. I do. If he weren't here, I probably wouldn't be alive today. The fact that he is here and doing what he's doing and doing as well as he's doing and improving as he has gives me the motivation and interest to stay alive. He died in 1985. The first man in his life who gave him hope. I didn't know where to go from there. I just felt naked to the world. I just felt like a very vulnerable young boy. And I was just saying, um, I don't have my friend no more. I don't understand how he come in my life and then left, and then here I am. I don't understand that to this day. What the hell is this guy? Where is he? What was this all about? You miss him. How did you know I was the one? The undefeated heavyweight champion of the world, Mike Tyson! I was angry and I was looking for revenge. He was basically a bully in the ring. Insane and out of control. Crushing right hand! I lost that belief in myself once Cus died. I just lost that. I just lost that when I lost my, my mentor, I lost my friend. All that stuff died and they died. Tyson reverted back to what he thought he was at heart which was just like this dirty ghetto person. I'm totally afraid. I'm afraid of everything. I'm afraid of losing. I'm afraid of being humiliated. But I'm totally confident. The closer I get to the ring, the more confident I get. Once I'm in the ring, I'm a god. No one can beat me. You're scared, coward. You got man enough to f with me. Mike Tyson's name synonymous with outrageous excess. He was on coke all the f time. My style is impetuous, my defense is impregnable, and I'm just ferocious. I want your heart, I want to eat your children. Look at you scared now, you hog. Scared like a little white boy. Scared of the real man. But what I found out in life, as life goes on, life is about losing. Former heavyweight champ Mike Tyson's four-year-old daughter died last night, one day after she was found with her neck caught in a treadmill cord. All the emotion he hides on stage came gushing out as he told me about the death of his four-year-old daughter, a day that not only left him shattered, but also out of his mind. This is my best thinking at the time. Get my gun, automatic, just like this, and you just go crazy. Who are you gonna, who are you gonna hurt? Regardless, that's just my first thought. Oh, 
know, when I went to the hospital, the people that were there, it was, they're up there because their kids are dead too. Mm -hmm. or, or about to die. Mm -hmm. So, who the hell am I? They get to die too. I don't know. No. It's um, something happened that day. I don't know what happened that day. Um, I couldn't handle it at all. <laughs> get him, man, and get him. My whole life uh, lived with all my ego. I had a, I was a megalomaniac with a low self-esteem. My mission was just to destroy everyone. And that was just my goal. That's what I learned from Cuts. That's all I knew. And I never experienced love. My love was hurting people. Yeah. The more people I hurt, the more love I received. It just was a time in my life I grew up and lived that life and I received love and I saw what love done. Just like I wasn't fighting to be the best fighter, I wanted to be the best father and the best husband I could totally become. Yes. Guys from the past can no longer project anything kindly to my future. I had to be a different person. I want to stay out here. I want to see my kids grow. I want to be a better person in life. I don't like the person who I become. And I just want to be a decent human being, which I know I can be. We have to understand we're stronger than we anticipate that we are. We're a lot stronger than we believe we are. Believing in yourself, you can overcome the most darkest moment. I can't make up for the past, of course, but I just want to have a healthy future. <laughs>